اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة ومن شايعهم ومن ناصرهم الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيق وامتناني وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد أحب في الله الحمد لله Allah has given us so many signs how to take care of the enemy, specifically to do with the enemy that you don't see. The enemy you don't see, Allah has given us tools that you read and the enemy you don't see, he, become, he, he becomes extinguished by the izzat of Allah Rabbul Izzah, by the qudrat of Allah Rabbul Izzah. Today, I'm going to narrate to you a very short and nice story of a brother. He narrates, he begins by saying he was a taxi driver. He picks up a passenger. It was around 11 o'clock. That day he left home late, like around five o'clock and six o'clock. On that day, I slept in the afternoon and then woke up late and then I woke up. When I woke up, I got a job and that job made me go miles all the way to the airport. So when he reached the airport, he dropped the passenger. It was late in the night. And then he decided to hang around near the airport, towns near the airport. So he moves closer to the airport, which this story happened in the UK. So he moves, moves closer to the towns near the airport and he parks somewhere waiting for a job and he gives the signal we're in for a job. And he get a signal to go somewhere. The brother knows these areas very, very well. So when he got the signal, he got a signal to go to the park. When he looks, he himself, he said, this is a park, but I don't know. He, he went, it took about 20 minutes to reach that place. When he reached the place, there were shops and everything, but the the tom tom, the, the location that the, the radio operator gave him, it was farther down. So he keep on going and the location was still going in the water. Where in front of him, he drove all the way in front of me, there's a lake. And he thought, this is not normal. And he looks around, it was mid, around midnight, he looks around, no one was there. He turns the car and he gives the face or the back of the car towards the lake and the front looking at the shops around. And there's no movement. So he said, let me wait for a few minutes. And then in two minutes, he see he hears somebody knocking from the passenger side of the driver's side, knocking and he opens the door. But he start questioning himself and start thinking, how is that? Because I looked all these area, no one was there, but how can somebody come from the water? But he never made of anything. So the, the person opens the door and goes inside and sits inside. And on the way driving back to uh, the other location is about 20 minutes. So he start driving, slowly, slowly driving, going towards the other location. Now he start having feeling of somebody who's sitting right next to the gear. And I thought, well, what is this? This is not normal. And he start having goosebumps. And he start looking in the mirror. He just sees somebody, boom, not clear. And he start having goosebumps and start worried. What's going on? And he locks all the doors of the car. And he started reading Ayatul Kursi, Ayatul Kursi, Ayatul Kursi. And that feeling disappears. But the person in the back is there. Now there is no any shape of a person, but there is a topi and there is a cloth, shape of a cloth. He carries on reading Ayatul Kursi, Ayatul Kursi. He's not stopping. He, his eyes is on the road and in the side mirror. And the feeling is not a normal feeling. He goes... He drives, drives all the way to the other location. Before he reaching all type of 
thoughts come into his head, what sort of human being he is. But the conclusion comes back to him, and he says, this is a jinn. Today I have carried a jinn in my car. This is a jinn. Because he can see the clue. Again, I repeat. But he cannot see the person because of his recitation. In the beginning, it was a shape. He can see a shape of a person, but he cannot identify that shape. Now, when he started having the feeling of somebody sitting there, he started reading and reading and reading at al Kursi. The good thing about it is that that taxi driver is a sheikh. Now he drives and the feeling inside him, and he's afraid, but a brave afraid. He's, there's nothing he can do. The person is inside the car and this is not a human being. He's a definite jinn. So he carries on reading Atul Kursi, reading Atul Kursi, reading Atul Kursi, reading Atul non-stop until he reaches. Where he reaches, there's no house. The first location was picking somebody from a lake. The second location is dropping a person where there is no house. It's a forest. So he parks and he just presses the button or open the door. That individual, the jinni, opens the door and goes out. And he starts going. He starts going towards the forest. Slowly by slowly by slowly. The brother, he turns the car and put full light towards where that entity going. He just sees clothes going and going and going while he keeps on reading at al Kursi and going and going until he disappears in the bush. He doesn't see no legs, no arms, no neck, but clothes with a topic going and disappears. He says from that day, he's worried, even though he says I'm not supposed to be afraid, but he's worried on picking anybody from the lake or the bushes. He looks at the location, he just don't pick a job like that. This is a story of a taxi driver, and this happened to a lot of brothers out there. Now, the shaitan hul is the one who taunt human being in the night. There is a lot of people who has narrated to me seeing this devil, a whole jinn. Abu Yahya from the Ruqa Talk. Stay tuned for more stories. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum anna hu al-haq.